Hello and welcome to our next video on using the online learning management software Edmodo. Uh, today uh, this particular video is going to be talking about using the library and folders. So once again as always I'm starting at the sign in screen and I've typed in my email address and password and I'm just logging in. Uh, so if you've seen any of the previous videos that have been put together uh, you'll know that this uh, was created and I'm just getting rid of a couple of these bits and pieces which aren't really relevant. You might see these come up every now and again. But you'll notice that I just went up quickly and I just I clicked on the home button and that's just taken me back to this main wall screen and I can see everything that's happened over the last few tutorials from sending messages to students, um, giving alerts, uh, putting up assignments, having things turned in. All of this stuff is really useful uh, and if you're interested you can certainly look at previous videos. As I mentioned today I really want to look at this concept of what's called the library and the library is really an online storage area where you can store and share resources with your students. Now to access the library you just need to go up uh, just to this tab up the top here. You can see there's four main things up the top and the library is uh, what we're going to be looking at today. So I'm just going to click on that one. Now at the moment I don't have anything in the library so I'm going to talk a little bit about how this works and how you can use it. So first and foremost as a bit of a circumstance if you can imagine I might have a worksheet or I might have an information sheet or I might have some notes or anything like that that I want my students to be able to access. So rather than uploading it uh, simply on the wall and having it disappear down the line, I can put it in the library and that means it's going to be a lot more consistently accessible. So I'm going to add a file to the library and then I'm going to show you some of the things that you can do with it. So I click add to library and as you can see I can upload folders but I'm just going to focus on files in this case. I can also upload a link so I could put on a URL there which our students could have access to and that's always a really handy thing as well. Uh, but I'm just going to go to my desktop and I'm just going to come down and in this case I'm using an English resource which is about a list of uh, rhetorical techniques. So this is a really important document I know I use with my English classes. So I select that one and just say open and as you can see down here it's just uploading that file and once it's done I click add and here it is. So this is a Word document which I really want my students to be looking at all through the year. So rather than putting it on my wall and having it eventually disappear as I start to add new things, I'm going to share it with my students in a different way. Now while it's up here, it's great because I've got a digital copy of it. It means that I don't need to be uh, on the computer that I'm using right now in order to get to it. As long as I've got the internet, I can download this resource and it's the same for the students. But before that happens, I need to make it a available. Now the best way to do that is to, do, is to create some folders for your classes and I'm going to show you how that works. So you can see up here at the moment I'm looking at the items that are in my library and there's only one item. So I'm going to put that in a folder. So I'm clicking on the folders tab Okay, and you automatically have a favorites folder and that's just to put anything that you might see or be interested in. Um, but I'm going to create a particular folder. I'm going to say create new folder and in this case I'm going to call the folder English resources just like that and I'm going to uh, I can say straight away which groups I want to share this with and I'm sure if you can imagine I'm going to want to share it with English and I can say create there we go so I've got English resources as a folder that I've created there and I can actually open this up and see what's in there at the moment there's nothing but a really handy tool is once I'm in the folder, I can go to folder options and I can actually say, oh, I also want to share this with my mathematics class. Or maybe you've got nine English and eight English, or maybe you've got senior English and middle English. It doesn't matter. So I can change who I share it with and I can also rename it as well. So I'm just going to leave it on English for the moment. Now, I want to add that library item that I created to the folder. So I'm going back to my library items. Here's my list of techniques piece here. And all I need to do is just select it to say, yep, this is what I want to work with. And as you can see, I could actually select multiple files if I had them here, and I could add them all to the same folder. Uh, once I click this, notice if I unclick it, there's nothing up the top here, but once I click it, something appears. So now I'm going to click add to other folders. If I click on that one, okay. 
it shows the two folders that I have. I've got my favorites folder, and in this case, I've got the folder I just created called English Resources. So I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to click Apply. Now, nothing really seems to happen on this screen because this screen only shows the items that are actually on your library, and it's just a good way to find that random file if you've missed it. But if I go back to my folders section now and I click on English Resources, there it is, the list of techniques. Now, there is a short way to go about this. I started by uploading an item and then putting it into a folder. Another way you could do it is first to create the folder, and then once you're in it, so if I go back to my folders screen, you could create a new folder. Once you've got your folder up, you click on it like this, and then you just need to go to Add to Folder. And it's the same thing we had before, but in this case, I'm just going to say Upload Files. And I'm just going to go down and get my other one, which is about uh, still, images, still Images and Questions. Click on that. Let it upload. Good morning. And there we go. Okay, so that is how you use folders in Edmodo and hopefully that will come in handy in your teaching.